There's nothing more awkward and irritating than a person who has decided to turn a beverage into their whole personality. You know, you got your wine moms, beta male craft beer enjoyers, Coke Zero girlies, and the British. But worst of all, are the coffee enthusiasts. Not caffeine addicts. Those I just kind of feel bad for because they gladly swipe and drink a cup of instant coffee someone left at a gas station three days ago. Like, the four hours of sleep I've gotten this past week are not enough to sustain my self preservation instincts and judgment, but I'm fun in a depressing sort of way. No, it's the avid coffee enjoyers I have a problem with. There's something very millennial cringe and obnoxious about the cult of coffee. And I remember being younger and thinking, wow, coffee is such a cool grown up thing. I can't wait till my taste buds are mature enough to enjoy it. Yeah, I'm sure when I'm older, this definitely won't smell like a burning barn full of humid farts. It's like a badass coming of age thing to drink it. Especially with all the movies where the quirky, not like other girls, teenage protagonist is about to leave for school and the mom is like, Rebecca, what about breakfast? And Rebecca is like, oh, shut the f up, you stupid f bitch. I'm running late and all I need is my coffee. I don't have time for any of your bullshit not before my caffeine kicks in. Oh, Rebecca. Coffee was basically the same thing as beer to nine year old me. Imagine my disappointment when I realized coffee isn't beer. It's wine. It gets the job done quick, but pretending it's anything more than a way to get drunk slash wake up and saying BS like, mmm, yes, it has notes of, oh my god, whatever, is delusional and pretentious for an average Joe. Having an average cup of Joe? Haha, <laughs> funny, but I don't drink just any coffee. In fact, the only real coffee is the Ethiopian beans that the one monkey that knows how to paint shits out. This is obviously an exaggeration, but I swear, nuclear power plants need less equipment than that one dude that into making coffee at his house. Yeah, it's one plant. Four main varieties, like 30 beverage options. All bitter, or basically an $8 milkshake and none of them are the right choice. Oh yeah, you're gonna be judged for your orders so hard if you go get a drink with the coffee lover. And see, they always want to get coffee with you. And then always say, oh, you can't get a decent cup of coffee anywhere these days. Funny you say that. Funny you say that every single time we get coffee. Maybe, just maybe, it's because there is no such thing as a decent cup of coffee. It all tastes like piss. Uh, no, no, I think you should try the organic and unethically sourced East African blend I traveled 3000 kilometers to buy from a shaman in Shiwa. It's like 80 US dollars per coffee bean and you need exactly 38 to make my signature cappuccino. And then they serve it to you in this. Wearing this. Smiling a shade of brown not even three packs of cigarettes a day can get you. Staring at you. Like you're the idiot for thinking this still tastes like polluted rainwater. Then you add your cream and sugar. So you can watch them convulse, piss and shit themselves like how could you? Whisper to them. I also mix my whiskey with Fanta. Subscribe for more random wisdom, important scientific discoveries, and history bits I find fun. Okay, bye.